Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see the part six. We have already done. This is the, of the cubes and cube roots, and we have already done some questions in the previous video. You can have a look at it. So now we will start the remaining ones. That is question number seven. The volume of a cube is five hundred and twelve centimeter cube. What will be volume of another cube where sides are double of this cube? So now let us. Whenever you have such type of problems, we, first you have to read the full question, and then you have to go one sentence at a time. Now we have to look now. See here, you have read the full question here. So now what is the? It's given here. The volume of a cube is five hundred and twelve centimeter cube. So here they are asked what is the volume of the another cube. So now let the side length because we don't know the. There are two cubes, so side length of original cube. Let us consider that as x. So volume of a cube, the formula is that is going to the x cube. If it is, if we put here a, that will be a cube. So that doesn't matter whatever the initial this variable you put, whether you put a x any variable you can put it. So now this is volume of a cube is given as five hundred and twelve centimeter cube. So in place of this one. Below this, you will write five hundred and twelve, and this is x cube. So now, what will you get here? X will be now. This is x cube is, or you can also write this as x cube is five hundred and twelve. But I wrote here below this for the better understanding. So now, this x is going to be the cube root of five hundred and twelve. So now you will take. You know we have done many problems on this one. You can find out this. With the help of the prime factorization method, so you will take start with two. So what you will get here, you can uh, later on you can check it. Or rather, I will show you five hundred and twelve. So that will be two two za, two five za, and two six za, two one za, two two za, and two eight za, two six za, two four za, two thirty two za, two sixteen za, two eight za, two four za. Two two za and two one za. We get one two three four five six seven eight nine. So we get we'll make a group of three each. So this is going to be just ones two, ones two and two. And then you are going to multiply this and this and this. So so two two za four four two za eight. So we get eight centimeter. So the side length of original cube is eight centimeter. Now they said here, what will be the volume of another cube whose sides are double? So one side we got this one. So if the sides are double of this cube, so if sides are double means you will get here this is x. So two x if it is double means two x. So that will be two into eight. That will be sixteen centimeter. So now volume of new cube. So that is see here. That is going to be because the sides are double means here we have used x cube. So here you are going to use uh, x cube. You will use two x and cube, and you are going to put a bracket. Why? If if you write here. Like this, that means this cube is only for x and not for two. So you have to put a bracket. That means you have to multiply this into this and this into this one. So two cube, or you can just write here first thing. Uh, you can also put here two, uh, this one two cube into x cube. That will be eight x cube, and then later on put the value of x. Or you can just write first the value of x because the value of x we have got as eight. So this will be sixteen. Cube. Anyways, if you do, you will get the same answer. So this is sixteen cube means you are going to multiply sixteen into sixteen into sixteen, and the answer is four zero nine six. And always in cube means that is going to be cube centimeter cube. This the unit is very important. If it is in square, means it is going to be centimeter square. So that is what they have asked. What is the volume of another cube? So this is the answer. The number one fifty three has an interesting property. One fifty three is one cube plus one cube plus one five cube plus three cube. So can you find three more such numbers? So if if we take three seventy, so this is going to be three cube plus seven cube plus zero cube. If we take three seventy one, three cube plus seven cube plus one cube, four zero seven, four cube plus zero cube plus seven cube. So we can say therefore three seventy. Three seventy one and four zero seven are the numbers. Find the value of x cube y cube if x is equal to two and y is equal to three. Also find the value of x y and whole bracket cube 
so then we have to see is x cube y cube is equal to x y cube so now let us take this one first and we have the values so we are just going to plug in the values for x we are going to put 2 2 cube here this is going to be 3 cube so 2 cube means 2 into 2 into 2 that is going to be 8 3 into 3 into 3 that is going to be 27 and to multiply you get 216 so now we will see for this one x y cube x y cube so x is 2 given y is 3 given so this is going to be 3 2 is a 6 cube 6 cube means 6 into 6 into 6 6 is a 36 and 36 6 are that is 216 so what you can see both the places that is 216 so we can say x cube y cube is equal to x y whole bracket cube so this is that so 216 216 so it is both are same find the smallest number by which we should multiply 7776 to get a perfect cube now here see for this one such type of problem we have to do do this with the help of the prime factorization method so many times we have done it so i'm not going to explain how to do the prime factorization you can have the look at the previous ones so now these are the factors so this is what the same thing i have written over here then because it is a cube we are going to put it into three now see here this is just two so i didn't underline this one these are just two numbers now here again here three these again are two numbers so what we can write it two cube two square three cube and three square so now what you can see we want to see the perfect cube so this here one is two is less and here one three is less so to make it a perfect cube what you have to do you have to multiply here extra by two and here by three so two into three that is going to be six so what they have asked what will be the number by which you should multiply to make it a perfect cube so if you put here two and three extra multiply that one and you get by this that will be a perfect cube find the smallest number by which 1080 should be multiplied to get a perfect cube and then you have to find the cube root of the perfect cube whatever you got that is so obtained so first thing 1080 so that is again you are going to take the prime factors of it so these with the help of the prime factorization method so these are the factors 1081 so this same thing i have written over here and then i have grouped it into this three and this three and now you can see this five is alone so two cube into three cube and this is just five you need your five cube so make, to make it a perfect cube it should be multiplied by you need your two extra fives so five into five that is going to be 25. so new number is going to be already you have 1080 so into because you need extra 25 so that is going to be 27000 so again what did they say we got the number but find the cube root of the perfect cube so obtained so you have to find the cube root of this number so cube root of this number means you know for 27 cube root of 27 that is 3 3 into 3 into 3 27 so 3 and these are three zeros so that is 1000 so that is going to be you're just going to put here one zero means 30 into 30 into 30 if you multiply three times you get this one 27,000 you can multiply and check this is to check so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you